Hello there, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully everyone's having an excellent, excellent day. Uh, for today, we're going to get the rest of the Enderhood headings. E Enderhood? Everhood endings. Hopefully I never typed it as Everhood in the thing here. Because that would be... Really embarrassing. No, I seem good. Okay. Okay, good. I was like, if I spelled it as Enderhood, I will be really, really upset at myself. Uh, all right. So, let us go ahead and start. So, today we're going to be getting the rest of the endings, or at least all of the endings that I think are feasible. That may be all of them apart from two, right? There are two endings that I kind of have my doubts that I can get, right? Uh, so we'll have to see one of them being the corridor. I really, really know. I'm not going to spend four hours going down a corridor in, uh, the game. Cause that would just be really boring both for me and all of you that I can do on my own time. Right. And record it and like attach it to the end or something of the, uh, the stream on YouTube. But yeah, I should be able to get most of the endings today. Hey there, Claus. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Dirt blocking intensifies. Getting very Minecrafty vibes. And thank you very much for the hydrate. Can definitely use that today. Can definitely, definitely use that today. Because uh, last night spent way too... Way... Spent... Shit. Ha, fuck. See, my brain is absolutely fucked. Spent way too late up last night. I say I stayed up way too late. There you go. That's the word I'm trying to say. Stayed up way too late. Uh, for good reason, kind of. Right? Uh, watched anime with some friends. Right? Why are these all New Game Plus? Don't know why they're all New Game Plus, but apparently they all are. So... Okay, so that's not... Okay, so that one's not going to work. So I have a list of all the endings... Uh, today, oh, okay, so anyway, the, the thing I was trying to say before, so you can tell my brain's not all here, right? Stayed up way too late last night watching anime, so if I seem a little weird off or tired, that's probably why, because I am a little bit tired. I should still be good, especially if I, especially if I get lots of hydrates today, right? Because as one knows when one is sleepy, uh, hydrating always helps, right? And I figure that was a good way, a, a good reason to kind of play more Everhood. To get the rest of the endings. Because it should be pretty chill. It should be pretty easy. Right? Uh, so, yeah, I figured it'd be good. I do have a list of the endings that I will be looking through. There's not that many. I might need to restart the game for one of them. That's not really a big deal. Hey, Bass Ackwards. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Howdy, exams are done, so this is where the fun begins, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hopefully your exams went well, my dude. Yeah, so Bass Backwards, I will say that... Well, I, well, obviously you can see the title, so you know it's for the rest of the ending. So we have finished the game. I do recommend uh, going and checking out some of the VODs if you can or if you feel like it. Whether it be on YouTube or here, the YouTube ones are going to be coming... Uh, well, going up relatively shortly. Uh, the YouTube cut, as I would like to call it. Because this game's really, really good, right? This game's actually really good. And hey there, River. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Hopefully all is going good on your end as well. Want to go to the main menu? Yes. So, let me just get my little thing of the endings up. Because I'm going to be looking at this. So... Yeah, there's one I can try to get now. <laughs> well, there are a couple I can try to get now. Um, the one I'll try to get now, uh, I may as well just try to get out of the way, would be this one right here. Because apparently fighting the special boss fight actually does give you an ending. So we're going to try to get that. Now, that's probably a really bad thing to start off with. But, you know, you guys know me. I, I don't always make the best decisions, as I've proven with last night. 
<clears throat> and if you're wondering what anime uh, my I watched with some friends last night that made me stay up so late, uh, one of them isn't worth it in the slightest, and that is Japan Sinks. Because Japan Sinks isn't a good isn't a good show. It's the second time I've watched it. It's not great. It's fun at points. But Japan Sinks isn't really that good of a show. Uh, but my friend wanted specifically a very mediocre anime to watch. And that was the one I could suggest to him. So it was fun to watch, but it's not a good show. I might end up doing a let's watch on that one at some point. Because I feel like it's fun to watch with friends. Or watch, you know, either along with other people through a video or... Um, or just like to see reactions, right? Best Africa says, is it like an idol show? No, it is literally a show about Japan sinking into the water. Like, it's literally that, like the name says it all. It's Japan Sinks 2020, which it came out in the year 2020. And it was really funny because that's when COVID started. So it was like, okay, well... Watch watch Japan actually sink in an earthquake now, right? Like, geez. Why to me why mediocre? Isn't why is the show mediocre? Or why did he want to watch a mediocre anime? Um It came out in 2019. Uh I don't I don't think it was 2018. If it came, I could see maybe 2019. I could maybe see 2019. But um Hold on, let me actually see. When did it come out? So I can do it real quick. This is going to be a chill stream, right? So we're we're going for the endings, but um, it's mostly going to be a chill, a chill stream. So let's see when it did come out. No, first episode came out July 9th, 2020. So it did come out in 2020. Um, at least according to what it says here. Maybe it says differently on the wiki. Let's see it. IMDB. Because IMDB is probably more definitive. Yeah, July 9th, 2020. Okay, so it did come out in the year 2020. See, because I, I do vividly remember that uh, when it came out, people were like, oh, shit, now we got to deal with this along with COVID. Right? You might be thinking of a different anime. Maybe there's another anime that's very... Um, not similar in premise, because I don't really think you can get similar in premise to Japan Sinks. But there probably is one either with, like, maybe a similar-ish title, right? That's very possible. But I'm not really too sure what that would be. <clears throat> maybe you're thinking of that anime about a bunch of school kids getting transported into the future. Could be, right? Like, it's certainly possible. Uh, let's see. Why did he want to watch a mediocre anime? I mean, at least something funny, bad, like maybe Neo Yokio. Okay, so me and my friend actually kind of have a very similar way of looking at things, and that is it's fun to watch either things that are bad or mediocre if you're watching it with someone else. Like, I wouldn't watch Japan Sinks by myself, but I would watch Japan Sinks with other people to have fun with it, right? But to quote him exactly as to why he wanted something mediocre, and that was uh, because he said we were watching too many good shows. He said everything we were watching at that point was too good, so he just wanted something mediocre. And we usually had a mediocre anime that we just usually had like on the side, right? Because this friend stopped watching anime for a while. Uh, he got too busy with other stuff. He stopped watching anime <clears throat> and started focusing a bit more on Final Fantasy XIV, funnily enough. Um, but recently I got him back into watching anime. And we were just kind of watching like banger after banger after banger. And so about a week ago-ish, about roughly a week ago, he was like, you know, I just want to watch something mediocre. We've been watching too many good shows. And so we thought and thought and thought. We lo I looked at lists. He wanted me to pick, right? Because he was feeling lazy. So I looked at lists. I looked around. I thought about it. And then I remembered Japan Sinks. And I remember watching that when it came out. And I was like, you know what? It's not the worst show I've seen. 
but it's also not good. So I consider that mediocre, you know? And man, Japan sinks is something. It is something. Doesn't really look that good, but it looks realistic. I, you know what? I actually do kind of like the style to it, but it is very cheaply done by the looks of it. It's You look at any clip of the show, it looks cheap, but it has really good meme moments in it, which I'll probably save for it whenever the Let's Watch I Want to Do happens uh, for it. I don't know when that'll happen, mind you. But it's really good meme potential, man. Like, Japan Sinks is really funny. If you're not taking it, like, seriously in the slightest, it's really funny. Uh, and I think Neo Yokio is actually, like, on the cards at some point to watch with him. I think he mentioned it, like, a while ago. But then we just never did it. By the way, I just scrolled up and I see River says I'm doing good things or I'm doing okay things. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, nah, I like I like mediocre and bad anime. You know, and then last night after we finished uh, Japan Sinks, he was like, you know, maybe we should watch a bad anime as well. So we're gonna watch a bad anime probably sometime soon. And I think the bad anime we've chosen is Capellian, and Capellian is literally super bad, dude. We tried watching Capellian like when it came out, and yeah, it's, it's not good. I don't really remember much of it. I was bored as hell when it was being watched, but I did want to finish it. And if you want to know, and if you want to know what Capellian is, by the way. Uh, the best way to describe it, which sounds really interesting, even though it's not, is it's follow, but like with anime schoolgirls, right? Like that sounds compelling, but it really isn't. They really kind of dropped the ball hard on it. Because I remember specifically one scene, and I don't remember anything else about it. And I don't even remember the context of the scene. I just know what happened. And that scene isn't really even much of a spoiler because I don't know the context. It's like one of the characters hanging off a ledge with a woman and I think a child of an apartment building that I think is about to collapse. That's really about it, right? I think I think I feel like you gotta watch like a really bad show slash anime slash movie every once in a while and it'll make you appreciate even mediocre slash regular bad films. Yeah. I agree. Like I I do like I do like watching bad shows. It's it's kinda weird. Like I love B movies, I love B games. Hell, I love I love Man Eater, right? Like Man Eater, was that the name of the game? I think it was. Like Man Eater is a fun game, but it's fun because it's not fantastic, right? It's very B-grade video game. Which, if you guys haven't seen that, I do recommend going to the YouTube channel because it's all up there, which is great. Um, and yeah, we're fighting a giant egg, essentially. I I always call them a potato, but like egg suits him really well. So this is supposed to be the stand-in for the dev of the game, and this is supposed to tell the story of the game's development. Which sounds really sick, and it is, right? Okay, so yeah, okay, so I will say this. If So one thing I learned the other day from a viewer, uh, which I also uh, reconfirmed by reading up on the fight itself, is that this purple egg potato thing represents the main developer that um, uh, did the game. And as you watch him, I can't really do that because I'm trying to not die. Excuse me, but um, uh, but then he gets tired, as you see, and then this other guy comes in and starts working on the game himself as well, because the other guy had to take a break, and then the original dev comes back and helps finish the game with the guy. So it's it tells an actually pretty cool story, to be honest. I kind of like it. I think it's very creative for a developer insert. 
but if I get to that point like you'll see it's just really hard and I need to I need to get my muscle memory back up for it this fight is actually really difficult and while I'm doing this I'll try to think of like other bad anime I can talk about or anime that disappointed me because I'm, I'm sure there's been a lot over the years and you guys can share yours too even shows right Because it's fun talking about things that we don't like sometimes. Damn, I went to the left and I shouldn't have. I did actually watch a YouTube video of some guy no hitting this, by the way. And it didn't look that hard. So I'm trying to like, kind of mimic what he did a little bit. Now I'm gonna get hit. That's the only real difference. But I'm gonna try my best to like at least not die Okay, see, that's it's just that easy, right? See, and here comes the other guy, the other dev. By the way, if you want to look up the, the lore on this fight, you can just type in um, Everhood, like, Dev Gnome Battle. Because I guess it's called the Dev Gnome Battle. So I guess these guys are like gnomes. Even though they kind of look more like potatoes and eggs. But, you know. Okay, now we're getting to like the second hard part of this fight. If I can do this, then I think I'll be good though. Fuck, 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 fuck. See, I'm not gonna try to fight here because that's usually what end ends up getting me killed. Oh my God, dude. It gets to like such a... If I can get past that, then I think I'm good. I'll be real. I think I'm good if I can get past that because it doesn't look that hard past that point. Um, Hiron and Spy, Fam Spy, Spy X Family slash Spy Family, whatever you want to call it, is really good. Really, really good. Uh, that's probably going to be my weekly watch. Well, I have a couple weekly watches at this point, but that's probably going to be the one I'm most looking forward to each week. Well, that's kind of not true. Shield Hero is also what I look forward to a lot each week, so. Because uh, Shield Hero is really good. Demon King and Mystic Academy I've not heard of, but I think that might be one Megan wants to watch. He's an egg man. Let's see. Best actor says nothing wrong with a great B-movie. Indiana Jones and Jaws feel like homages to old B-movies and they're lauded. True. True. They actually like files and spreadsheets. I know it's so it's a cool fight. It's too bad that if you're playing it, you can't really see that. Right? Like you won't be able to notice it. But you know, like if you watch it on YouTube, it looks really good. Or if you're just watching it on stream, right? Like I did watch the whole fight on YouTube. I didn't see the ending, but I did see how the fight goes. And it really doesn't look that bad after you get past the hard parts. Right? Once you get past the hard parts, it, it honestly doesn't seem that bad. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. See, I think I can consistently get past that part now. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I shouldn't have lost in that pit. Oh, I shouldn't have lost in that pit. Oh, I'm actually so mad at myself. Okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I think I got a little too complacent because I was in like the quote unquote easy part. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so I'm not gonna get complacent. Um, hey, what other bad anim anime have I like watched? Um, yeah, I'll admit, like, Madoka Magia Record isn't like a bad anime, but I don't know. It, it, it didn't really stick with me like original Madoka did, right? But I wouldn't call it bad. Just kind of forgettable and not memorable, which is really sad considering how much I like OG Madoka. But I like Side Story for what it is. Now right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. I was like right there at the end. I was like right there at the end too. Oh, I could like see it. Oh, I could like see it right there. Okay, well we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. By the way, if I if this does take like a while, I will take a break and get the other endings because I, I do want to get the other endings. I just if I can, I would like to get this one out of the way first. This is kind of the one that I, I was most iffy on. Because um, the other ending, one ending I know I'm not going to get. And will have to be a YouTube bonus. Uh, the other ones I should be able to get relatively comfortably. This, this one is the one that's given me the most I don't know. Right? It's either like I'll get it or I won't. But I am not really too sure. There we go. Ooh, okay. I went back into it. Okay, I'm building myself up and preparing. Okay, sleeves are up, as you can see. I don't, I don't even have any sleeves. See, that's going to, oh man, it's going to be the hardest part because I, I remember that it does force you to kind of move a bit more left and right. I, at some point, I'm going to need to get into the middle. At some point, I got to get into the middle. And some people might say, well, you could lower the difficulty. No, I'm not doing that. I refuse. I will get this with the skill that I've been using 
throughout the vast majority of the game so far. And right now that seems very little, but you know, still. I'm not even in the right spot to be comfy. Okay, okay. See, I can get that past that bit like way, way more uh, consistently than I could the other night. Because I remember seeing the guy in the video, he just stayed on the right. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's really smart, actually. Because nothing goes up on the right, really. This is the this is the time. We got this. Yeah, you have mm, that's when you have to go to the left a bit more. Okay, hold on. I'm a little curious. Can I technically, because I don't know if like my, I'm trying to think if my stick is like how responsive my stick is compared to like other movement methods, because I might consider doing this on keyboard. Hmm. That's kind of the one thing when you play games like this, it's like. Yeah, there is a chance that one of the input methods is just going to be better for, like, certain movements. It's like, man, I used to play, like, the shit out of Guitar Hero and Rock Band, like, on Expert. I did that every single day, <laughs> right? This game shouldn't get me. Nothing should be able to beat me, right? I've beaten Sans, Expert-level level Guitar Hero player slash Rock Band player on guitar, not anything else. I should be able to do, like, this rhythm game as well. I just got to stop looking at red, and instead I got to look what's coming at red that is kind of the key though if anybody ever plays the game like step mania or ddr or guitar hero a lot of this is gonna apply where you want to look ahead and not look at what your like like where your character is or where the note things are, right? Like you want to kind of look at the center of the screen. And through that. Yeah, like look at this, right? Like see now, now I'm putting that into practice and it's. Fuck, okay, 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 that worked out, okay. See, like that's, that's literally all you need to do. Okay, well. Now, now I at least, now I gotta go through that again, I think. But at least we can possibly do it. Yeah, I gotta do it again, fuck. Fuck, damn it. I almost did it twice in a row, fuck. Okay, see, no, we can do it though. See, we can do that, we can do that. Uh, let's see. Best actor says, I can't remember what much bad anime I've seen because I've avoided them based on reputation. Although you can argue that some anime is more than just bad. I remember coming back to Italia. 
It being a lot worse than I remember. See, I want to watch Italia with uh, the same friend I watched Japan Sinks with. Not because I think Italia is um, like bad or mediocre. I know very little about it. But isn't that the one where it's kind of like World War II Nations personified? Or am I thinking of some other anime? Because I think that's pretty cool, right? It'd be cool if you could somehow play this with a Guitar Hero controller. It might be. I mean, it could be possible. You would need to have your inputs like i mean the stream could be jump and you could in theory have like a couple of frets work uh to control your dude but i mean i don't know like it'd be interesting I, i'd like to see someone do that if someone can do that then hey yeah i would see that i'd follow that I'd subscribe to that. Okay, I can do it. I've done it a couple times already. I can do it again. It's just if you get hit like close to the end, it becomes really scary. I went, oh, I went too, I went too much in the middle. I went too much into the middle. Uh, it might be, uh, Klaus, Bad Zachary say yes. Okay, good, good. I figured that was the one I was thinking of. But I'm also, like, pretty big into history, and I think it's kind of cool as, I, I like that idea as a concept, right? And he does too. He, he also likes, um, World War II-ish, uh, World War II-y kind of stuff. I don't think he knows much about history in general, uh, like me, but he does look his World War II history, which is cool. And surprisingly, he never heard of Italia until I brought it up to him, which actually surprised me a lot because I'm pretty sure it was really popular. Like, you know, it, um... Yeah, I don't even know what I was going to say, to be honest. Fuck, 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 okay. Okay, for like a second, for a second, I like kind of lost where I was. They became really kind of panicked. Ooh. I'm just kind of playing around with the stick, just like. Gauge sensitivity. Thank you very much for the follow. Give me one sec and I will thank you by name. Give me just a memento. This bit's, uh, this bit's a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. But we're going to do our best. And by we, I mostly mean me. Because you guys aren't playing this. But... 
You know. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, I got like one hit in. Oh man, that's that's not too great. That's not too great. And I could try to hit him here, but I, I don't really want to, to be honest. I went I went to the right instead of to the left. Boo. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see who dropped the follow. Uh, give me just one sec, cause I need to go to Streamlabs. Give me one sec, please. Do do do. Yes, I'll log in. Get my dashboard. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank. Oh, go to dashboard. I do not wish to take action. Action. Streamlabs. No, thank you. Thank you to Eduardo five three nine eight. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow, friendo. Uh, hopefully, you're doing well today. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like more. I'm trying to think of like more bad slash mediocre anime, but like I don't watch much like bad slash mediocre anime. Like even just like anime that's not real talked about. Like um, what's an anime that I've watched that's not really talked about, but I kind of enjoy. IG. Kaiji is cool as fuck. I love Kaiji. Kaiji is such a good show. Now you can't be squeamish, might I add. You gotta, you gotta be okay with like terrible, terrible situations. But Kaiji is a really good anime. Like if you want to talk like gambling anime, dude, Kaiji is like top tier. Not even kidding. Damn it. Uh, it, might be, it might be time for a break from this one because I feel like I'm starting to starting to lose my edge a little bit. But Kaiji is really good. Kaiji is really, really good. And no one talks about it either. No one talks about Kaiji. People talk about Kakegurui. No one talks about Kaiji. And that might be because the characters look ugly as hell, right? Characters don't look good. You know, they don't look good in the slightest, but the anime is so good. And I'm sure the manga is really good too, right? I just haven't read it, but like I'm positive the manga is also probably really good. Okay, we'll, we'll take a slight break from this. Like I said, I, I'm not guaranteed to get that one yet. I probably will get it, but I'm not guaranteed to get that one today. But that one will, if not gotten today, will be done. Probably, at the, I'll probably cut it into the YouTube version of this. Uh, okay, so if I'm not going for that ending straight away, then the next ending would probably be... Uh, New Game Plus playthrough. Uh, would probably be one of the New Game Plus playthroughs. Oh, wait. What if I continue from this? Okay, never mind. That was really weird. Gambling anime interesting. It's really good. Yeah. So to give you like a, a, a brief uh, Not synopsis, but to give you kind of like the opener to what kaiji is right uh, Well, okay, so one of my friends is kind of who's never seen it But I described it to him because I think he wants to watch it at some point is it's squid game but um, How do you describe it it was squid game with Well, it's basically just a lot like Squid Game, I guess, right? So, like, 
Uh, the basic general idea is you have this guy who's really, who, who's a gambler, but he's like kind of really bad at it. Right. To the point where he's in debt. This is all in like the first episode. Right. So he's in debt. And I don't, I don't remember if it's established that he knows this one guy, but this guy in a limo comes up and he's like, Hey, look, I'll, well, my boss will pay off all your debts. Right. But you need to participate in this one game. And uh, it he takes him to the sh to a big ass cruise ship with a bunch of other people, and um, he well he has to play a really interesting version of rock paper scissors, uh, kind of for his life, right? Against a bunch of other people, but it's actually really smart, and there's a lot of like strategy and thinking involved, and it's like wow, that's actually pretty cool. And the games, the games are usually, they usually involve some form of like death or mutilation or something, right? But there's more than just like the rock, paper, scissors game, but it, it's really, really, really good, right? It's really, really good. But I can't really say too much without uh, spoiling it. I'll either do a let's watch at some point in the near future. So if you don't want to watch it by yourself, you can keep an eye out for that. But, but, um, if you want to go watch it, it it's a uh, Kaiji, K-A-I-G-I, uh, I believe, K-A-I-G-I, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or spell it. So you best know because I need to watch Liar's Game or other anime like that. I mean, I like Death Note a good deal. I still need to watch Death Note. But I kind of found it a bit underwhelming thanks to the hype. A rewatch might help. Yeah, go for it. Squid Game hits the nuke button. You don't like Squid Game claws? I want to watch Squid Game at some point. I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about it. I like the idea. Um. Oh, I got insane mode. One HP and no checkpoints. Damn, no, I ain't doing that. I'm sticking to normal, please. <laughs> Anyway, I apparently need to go wrap my mind around Strixhaven. Oh, I think I've heard of Strixhaven D&D, and I'm not focusing well right now, so hugs thanks for stream fair. You're very welcome, Claus, and hugs back to you, my friend. Uh, yeah, you take care. You take care, my dude. Go have fun. Go have fun. Learn Strixhaven D&D. And yeah, I'll catch you later, my dude. Subs only. I heard even the subs are kind of eh. Hmm. So we're just gonna like skip through all the dialogue now. Cause you know, but I'm gonna do this for fun, right? We're gonna say no, I'm not gonna agree to that. Understood. We will be here. We hope to see you when you are ready. And takes you back to the menu, right? See, I like exactly two manga and the Gore exploitation genre, and I don't remember the title of either one, except I think they both started with chaos in the name. And we're not related. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Like, I like I will say, Kaiji, uh, just to... Just to, um... Kind of make it... Yeah, really clear. Like, I wouldn't call Kai... And I don't... I'm not saying that you're saying Kaiji is. I wouldn't say Kaiji is, like, gore exploitation necessarily. It has death games to it, but it, it's... I don't think I'll, well, so I'm trying to think how many of them even show things. I don't remember, like, I need to rewatch Kaiji. See, it's kind of the problem. I need to rewatch Kaiji. Like, I'm talking about it, but I can't really, like, say a ton because it's been ages since I watched Kaiji. I know it does involve a lot of, like, like it's, it's, like, it's, it's death gambles, right? But, like, I don't know. It, it's so... It's just so good. And no one talks about it. See, if anything, that's kind of what, like, gets to me with Kaiji. Is that no one talks about it. And it's it's really good. I'm really hoping they do another season at some point. Because, like, I know the man... So, so apparently, like... like okay, so the series... Like, the anime ends on a really good note. Like, it could end there and it's fine. But... But I know the manga carries on and is actually also really good. 
Another anime I watched that's by the same guy, funnily enough, uh, from the same, like, mangaka that wrote a separate manga, is Akagi. Akagi is really good. But Akagi will probably bore the vast majority of people. Because Akagi is all about Mahjong, and a guy that's really, really good at Mahjong. Like, like scarily good at Mahjong. Right, but if you even if you don't know Mahjong, it actually does explain Mahjong really well to you. I just don't know if it would appeal to a lot of people. But that one is also really good. What for Squid Game? And then I was hoping for a game over or something. Yeah, that would have been funny. Unfortunately, not. Okay, so I think I need to do stuff with the frog. So we'll do the tutorial fight. Can I just like, skip through this? I'm just gonna mash buttons. Yeah, so that's really interesting, actually, because I think if you do have colorblind mode off, I don't think it shows, like, the eye or anything like that above it. Mm. By the way, yeah, we basically need to play through the game again, but... Like I said, I'm going to be skipping all the dialogue, at least for none of the new characters. Because I think a couple new characters do show up in, um, in New Game Plus. Those ones we'll talk to. The other ones I won't. Unless I need to for something. Oh, I'm going to tell you guys something actually really funny. Okay, well, funny to me. Uh, so, uh, a while ago, quite a while ago, maybe like a year ago, uh, one of my friends and I started watching through Gundam, like the original Gundam, right? And through like the second season, third season, etc. Uh, basically, we're watching through Gundam. I think it's on the second season in particular. Um, they have, I don't want to word it. So this isn't spoilers. Not really, right? It's not spoilers, but technically I guess it could be anyway. I'm not going to say what or whom's though, but it's getting to like near, I think it's like what the middle of the season or something. And it's, it's it's the anime that does, like, a preview for, like, the next episode at the end of the episode that you're watching, right? And we're watching this episode. And it gets to the end, and we're watching the recap, and we're like, man, you know, shit's really about to go down. Like, man, like, man, what's gonna happen? And the preview for the next episode literally shows a rather important character death. And I was like, what the fuck? They literally spoiled that death in the preview. I wasn't pissed, but I was just really surprised. Because I was like, holy shit, like they, like, they spoiled what would have been a really, really good scene in the preview for no reason. And I was really shocked. I was like, man, why'd they do that? You can hear the mushroom rave. Oh, that's not the Mushroom Grave. I know, right? Like, it, it was actually really weird. And it, it was a very important character, too, right? So that's kind of the funny thing. And so it was like, oh, huh. Tony Schmuckles, go to ATM machine. Okay, we'll go to, we'll go to the evil ATM machine.
But yeah, that was really funny. Um, Gundam, Gundam, by the way, like classic old school Gundam is really interesting. It's such a product of its time that I find it really funny. And like, like I, I'm trying to think of like the memes that my friend and I had when we watched it, because we did come up with our own little memes for it. I think my favorite one See, the nah, problem is, like, even if I were to say it, like, I don't even know. I, I don't even really remember, so I don't think I could explain it properly. So I probably just won't. But basically, watch Classic Gundam as well if you can. Classic Gundam is really good. It's really good and it's really funny if you take it in a certain way. Because it really is such a product of its time that it, it's, it's just like, wow. This ATM just called me an asshole. I know, right? This ATM's a douche. And it's definitely a flowey ripoff. Well, not ripoff, but homage, right? Like, even the way its face looks. Yeah, I need to find like more older anime to watch, I think. I don't know. I, I think there's something not only special about older anime, but uh, something really funny about old anime. Because let's be real, a lot of old anime is probably going to age really, really poorly. Lupin is actually a really funny one, too. Like watching old school Lupin. That one's also very uh, interesting to watch, especially to see kind of like the time capsule of how things were, right? Can I ever to talk to these characters? Hi ho ha, I love dancing. It's the best thing I know, but I do like drinking blood too. Hi ho, I'm getting kind of thirsty. Too bad your wooden limbs don't seem to have any blood in them. Hi ho, I talk too much. Gold pig has made me work so much. Now I just want to have a good time and relax. We mushroom people usually play in the woods. You should come and visit someday. We love to play hide and seek, but nobody wants to be the seeker. Maybe someday. Let's fight Sig. What is a man? Uh, I know there's been people who beat it on insane difficulty in like one sitting. I know I want to be the guy's difficulty of a similar nature has only been beaten like five, six times. Dude, I want to be the guy who's like such a classic. Like, I, I want to play through. I want to be the guy on stream at some point. Because I kind of feel like why well, I want to be the guy has been mostly forgotten by at least uh, the internet community, like various internet communities, right? Because shit, dude, I remember when I want to be the guy came out. Everybody was talking about I want to be the guy. Everybody was playing I want to be the guy. You know, at least it felt like it. But now no one talks about it. No one talks about I want to be the guy. It's so good. Ah, oh, and dude, like, just talking about old games, I'm not gonna say like, I, I don't want to give a date for any of this, right? Cause I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna get around to this. Hopefully sometime soon, but I, because I don't really like the quality of my, um, my, uh, RC8 HDMI converter. I decided to grab a separate converter for streaming like retro consoles, right? Like Super Nintendo, GameCube, PS2, et cetera, et cetera, right? And funnily enough while i was out with megan about a week ago we went into the store that i didn't even know it, like had video games for sale and i found some really really nice um playstation 2 games that i've actually been 
looking for specifically to stream because guaranteed guaranteed no one's heard of them right or if they have then they don't it's more obscure right and if you're wondering what those games are uh one of them is kessin k-e-s-s-i-n which i wanted to get for a while but i finally got my own copy of kessin which is a game i used to play a lot way back in the day uh but it's a really interesting game uh the director from what i remember really really loves japanese history even the manual is just like full of japanese history facts and not really anything about the game itself which i find really funny and he, he kind of wrote and directed it like a movie like i don't know it's real well i guess he directed it I, well i don't know if he wrote it too i don't know but he he, play, he plays it like a the way he he presents it is more like a movie right which i find really kind of funny but it's, it's i remember it being good when i played it for all i know maybe it's bad but you know i don't think a lot of people would have heard of kessen so I'm really kind of excited to show that off. Um, and I also picked up um, True Crime Streets of LA, which I think is going to be really interesting to play for stream, uh, which is another one that I don't think a lot of people really know of, at least not anymore. And no oh boy, that is quite a game, let me tell you. And then I also picked up uh, Dead to Rights. And Dead to Rights 2, which I never actually... I don't remember if I knew it had a sequel or not, to be honest. And Dead to Rights is really interesting as well. I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to have a lot of fun showing off a lot of classic and maybe more obscure video games that some of you guys may not have heard of or stumbled across which is why to me mr mosquito is like gonna be my holy grail like mr mosquito is my holy grail of games and if i can ever find like mr mosquito in box with the manual i don't know what i'd do like for an okay price like i don't want to spend 500 dollars on mr mosquito right but I really, really want to get Mr. Mosquito. Because Mr. Mosquito is an experience, okay? And I played Mr. Mosquito a shit ton. I, I rented it. I never owned it. But man, if I could own my own copy of Mr. Mosquito, that'd be crazy. The game's so expensive, though. And I want to get one with a good disc, and preferably with the manual, right? Uh, for the platform hell lovers it has persisted there's even like a maker out there no really they've had blind playthroughs of campaigns talented people made it agdq for instance really that's interesting i you know i do remember one of them doing one a long time ago i don't remember i don't know if they've done any recently but yeah i want to show off like a lot of games i don't know i i i really like showing off games to you guys right games that I know of, but a lot of you haven't. Like, honestly, I consider one of my favorite streams that I've done uh, in recent memory would be Shadow of the Colossus. Because there were so many of you, so many of you and new people even that came in and were like, you know, I've never heard of this game, but damn, I'm really into it. And that was really nice. I was like, good, I'm showing off Shadow of the Colossus to people and Shadow of the Colossus was, was great, right? So if I can show off Mr. Mosquito and True Crime Streets of LA and yeah, um, Dead to Rights and Kessen, I'd be a really happy boy. It's actually a free game. What is? But I want to be the guy. Or are we talking about something else? Oh, shoot. I don't remember this one. It goes like... Um, Shit. Okay, this I don't really remember. I think it's this, 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 this. I think I'm close. 
I might, it might, it might actually be no. It's this. I'm pretty sure. Might actually be this. No, it's not. Shit. 